Good day kids, this is teacher Vanji of Pudros International School and today we are going to study about the early villages. Early villages. In the countryside, some people live in unisolated farms but many people live in a small settlement or village. Villages are group of houses and associated buildings larger than a hamlet and smaller than a town, situated in a rural area. Some geographers specifically define a village as having between 500 and 2,500 inhabitants. Where did the first people live? Everyone needs food, water, and somewhere safe to live. The earliest people roamed the country hunting wild animals for their meat and skins and wild fruits and seeds to eat. They lived in a temporary shelters because they had to keep moving in search of food. Later, during what we call the New Stone Age, people became farmers by planting crops and keeping animals. They could then live in one place because their food grew around them. Where were early villages built? The early villages were built near a river, steam or stream so that the people could obtain water for drinking, washing and cooking. There had to be a good soil in the area so that the people could grow crops and food for their animals. The village site also had to be somewhere sheltered or easily defended and away from places that might flood. If the village was by a river, it was often where a river could be crossed by a bridge or ford. Many fishing villages grew up on the coast where there were sheltered harbors. Other villages grew up near valuable materials that could be mined or quarried. Changing Villages when a village had grown so that it produced more food than it needed, some people could give up farming and do other jobs. Rootways could grow and improve so that people from the village could trade with people in other villages. Do this activity. Look at an atlas or map of the British Isles. Make a list of places that have port or bridge in their name. Find the name of the river near which each of these places was built. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy and learn. See you again next time. Goodbye!